for the past few years, Republicans in Congress and elsewhere have been attacking prosecutors who aren't doing what Republicans want politically. They have made up claims of a two-tiered system of justice between Republicans and Democrats. You're left to wonder why this report spends time making gratuitous and inappropriate criticisms of the president. Yeah, White House spokesman Ian Sams criticizing the special counsel's report, finding and rejecting claims of a double standard. Even though the probes found both Biden and Trump willfully withheld uh, on the or held on to classified documents, but Biden, he won't be charged. Here to react, former acting U.S. Attorney General Matt Whitaker. Uh, this morning, uh, there are so many things about this I feel like that should have been asked and framed in a certain way that hasn't been done yet. But I think the first thing I want to get your take on is I actually read a bunch of the report, about a third of it myself, and it seems like the actual hinge here, what he could have been prosecuted on as opposed to what he is not being prosecuted on, is that he, ha he had classified documents in 2017, admitted to having them to his ghostwriter, it's on tape, it's in transcripts, and then he still had possession of them in 2022. Being a president in 2022, that might not even be a crime to have it in his house, but having them in 2017 is. It seems like the special counsel simply said he could go in front of a jury and say he didn't remember right after he spoke about them, and that's why he couldn't be prosecuted. That's correct, and good to be with you this morning, Joey. Yes, you know, sir. Prosecutors have a lot of discretion in deciding what laws to enforce and, and, and ultimately what targets to prosecute. And in this case, they said, uh, and, you know, said this would not be successful if they took this case against Joe Biden to a jury because they, you know, essentially they, he's an elderly man with mem memory problems, and that's uh, concerning because you know, essentially there is either he is qualified to stand trial and therefore you know do be president, or he is not. Uh, qualified to stand trial and therefore you know it, it calls into question his ability to be president but you know there are 30 counts almost 75 percent of the trump um case are this exact issue the you know yeah. willful possession of national defense information same thing that joe biden could have been charged under and it, it i don't know how you cannot say there's a two-tier system of justice when the exact same case is reviewed against one person in Donald Trump and they charge him, raid Mar-a-Lago, all the things they did, very aggressive tactics. Uh, and then, you know, Joe Biden is allowed not only to cooperate, but is, you know, given no consequence for <laughs> his behavior. It's, 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 Joey, it's just not the way our system of justice should work. Now, we'll move on to a second topic here, but just on this topic real quick. Another part is this, the special counsel says in the opening of it, uh, of the summary that he held on to this stuff on purpose because he knew he was going to run for president again, which is a, a very similar to the criticisms of why President Trump held on to the documents he held on to. For this next topic, quickly, the Supreme Court heard an argument uh, on Trump's removal from a state ballot in Colorado, and we see that the justices may come out even unanimously and say that this isn't something that can be done. You can't just remove a president that isn't convicted of a crime. Your former uh, acting attorney general, how do you see this even from a federal level? Well, I mean, this was uh, obviously the left had put a lot of hopes and dreams in the Colorado theory, and the Supreme Court really, to a justice, uh, completely took it apart. They dismantled the argument, you know, the, the due process claim, the uh, the law, how the 14th Amendment was brought about, how Section 3 has to be, you know, uh, put into power by the Section 5 of that same uh, amendment. So I, I thought the Supreme Court did a masterful job, but this is the difference between politics and actually the rule of law. Yeah. And it's surprising to me how, uh, especially Democrats, don't want the law uh, to work. They just want to have their outcome however they can get there. Yeah, it's going to make it real hard to keep uh, calling for packing the court if the court comes out. 8 to 1, 9 to 0 in favor of common sense here. Uh, former Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker, thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.